Today, I will be discussing power transmission system, its definition as well as parts. So let us start with definition. Electric power transmission is the process of delivering generated electricity, usually over long distances, to the distribution grid located in populated areas. Or, electric power transmission is the bulk movement of electrical energy from a generating site, such as a power plant, to an electrical substation. Basic components of transmission system are Generating stations Transmission lines Substations Distribution grid A generating station is a plant that produces electricity by using a certain energy source to propel the turbines, which, in turn, drive the generators. These power stations generate about a quarter of all the electricity used in the world. A power plant is an industrial location that is utilized for the generation and distribution of electric power on a mass scale. Some common types of generating system are Coal-fired generating station Nuclear generating station Hydroelectric generating station Solar generating station Wind generating station Transmission lines are the medium that carries the electric power from the generating station to the load center. Transmission lines use either alternating current AC or direct current and DC. The voltage level is changed with transformers. The voltage is stepped up for transmission, then reduced for local distribution. Transmission lines can be classified into three types based on their length and characteristics. Short transmission line Medium transmission line Long transmission line A line with a length less than 80 km and a voltage level less than 69 kV is called short transmission line. The capacitance effect is negligible and only resistance and inductance are considered. Medium transmission line is a line with a length between 80 km and 250 km and a voltage level between 69 kV and 133 kV. The capacitance effect is present and distributed along the line. And a long transmission line is a line with a length more than 250 km and a voltage level above 133 kV. The line parameters are distributed over the length of the line and the wave nature of the transmission must be taken into account. A transmission substation connects two or more transmission lines and may have transformers to change the voltage level between them. At the end there is a distribution grid which is a network of lower voltage electrical conductors that receive power from the transmission system at distribution substations and deliver it to the end users. A distribution grid contains millions of miles of wires, poles, transformers, switches, meters, and other devices that enable the safe and reliable supply of electricity to homes, businesses, and industries. At the end you can see a complete diagram of this transmission system. I hope this introduction of power transmission system helps you understand this system very easily. That's all for today's video. I welcome your suggestions in comment box on what topic you want me to cover. If you want more videos like this, Please subscribe to my channel and click the bell icon to get notified whenever I upload a new video. Never forget to like and share.